So what brings you to the Big Easy? I used to live here. Really? When? Oh, feels like a hundred years ago. I just moved here myself. What brought you back? Well, my brother's here somewhere. He has a long history of getting himself into trouble. And I'm guessing you have a long history of getting him out of it. What kind of bind is your brother in? He believes there are people in this town that are conspiring against him. Wow. Narcissistic and paranoid. Sorry. Bartender with a grad degree in psychology. Total cliche. Diapers, formula, and this. <sighs> Unless you like your clothes extra crispy. As opposed to deep fried? You're handling this well, considering the mess. I left you a dozen messages. Family crisis. Have you spoken to Cloud? You brought them here? Finn could be anywhere. I've taken precautions. trigger you pulled yourself back which is improvement for sure but we can't ignore the fact that your mind clearly went elsewhere it's very common in traditional PTSD patients you've done the work to face your atrocities the truth is it's just going to take some time to settle and you believe you have the power to resolve this it's not that easy there's no and you're fixed in cases like yours sometimes not dwelling on the problem is more productive than examining it through the minutiae of therapy Staying mentally busy instead of physically. This house, though charming, is completely falling apart. So this is your solution. Mend the home, mend the man. Or we could go fishing and I could tell you about the summer I lost my virginity. I'll mend the home. I'll spend the day with hope. And you spend the day not thinking. Tea in a Viennese cafe. <laughs> Are you name dropping Freud right now? Okay. Well, here's something I know that even Freud didn't. Oh, do tell. What it's like when someone takes away your deepest, ugliest pain without your consent. Good. Let's start with what you've referred to as the red door. That's an image from my past. My youth. It was the door to a slaughterhouse. Sometimes it appears to me in, uh, in flashes. It's a memory, but it's also a metaphor. Why that particular door? This is where the first woman I ever loved told me she loved me in return. It's also where I laid her body after I took her life. No one knows this. Not even Nick Klaus. Yeah. <laughs> there's one thing I've learned about you people is that there's always a bottle of booze around. You want one? Sounds delightful. And after that, Camille, then one. We have another, and another. Perhaps another after that, and another after that. Before long, I find myself opening up to you, or bearing my damaged soul, as it were. It's an old... Has it ever occurred to you that I am less interested in fixing your problems and more interested in forgetting my own? I mean, I'm basically in a supernatural witness protection program because your psychotic brother, who, by the way, I practically had to seduce, wants me dead. So, yeah. Booze and board games is pretty much where I'm at right now. Here's a question. What was the name of Don Quixote's horse? This is absurd. Fine. Dumb idea. How's Haley? You two seemed close. Rocinante. The horse's name is a Rocinante. What three European countries begin with the letter A? Albania, Austria, Andorra. Ah. Okay. All right. Hey, who was the only U.S. president to earn a Ph.D.? Rather tedious, Woodrow Wilson. Who rode Secretariat to the Triple Crown in 1973? Wrong turkey. No! I believe that you just happened to know that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Elijah. Here. Oh. 